You can rise upon your feet. Yes, tell the Lord, open my eyes that I might see wondrous things out of your world. Give me understanding and I will keep your word, keep your word with my whole heart. come to your presence again to receive the vision and inspiration to do special work for you in our time. There are people you created them for a period like this. You recreated them in salvation for a period like this. I'm praying that they will receive the commission from you. They will receive the recommission from you. And go out to do what you created them for. And go out to do what you recreated them for. In Jesus name we pray. The light shines brightest with the darkest day. Amen. You are going to shine brightest in this dark period. Amen. Samson, wounded but restored for God's kingdom exploits. Remember our message on exploits, doing special work. And that is what God created you for. To do special thing for him. That is why you were born again. Made a new creation. Recreated in Christ Jesus. To do special work for him. Special work among the Christians. Special work in the church. Special war in the world. There are people, children. Satan is telling them, your parents dedicated you to me that I should use in the way I want. And my plan is to use you to destroy the church. My plan is to use you to destroy community of men. My plan is to use you to destroy this individual or this family. I will empower you. I will back you up. I will give you my demons to go with you. And those people celebrate. And they go for Satan. But yours it is the creator God, the almighty, the everlasting, the one that created Satan, that is saying, I created you for a purpose. And I planned your time to be born. Satan doesn't have time to have power to plan when somebody should be born, but God has. I planned the period of time you would come into the world. Your parents will give birth to you because there are things I want you to do, to me, do for me in your time. 
The story so went for a man. Yes. This man prophesied to King Re Jeroboam. He said, Jeroboam, Jeroboam, you have taken these people into idolatry and they have killed the priests. Listen, a time is coming. God is going to give cause a child to be born to Israel. His name shall be called Josiah. He shall sacrifice the bones of the false priests upon this altar. He shall bring judgment upon idolatry. He was speaking of this child that would be born 150 years from the time he was speaking. That's God. Samson was such a child that trouble was happening to the children of Israel. And the Lord act and the Lord directed the birth of Samson. Is it that Samson had existed somewhere? No. A child was born, and the Lord knew that child would be born. And this is what I shall use the child to accomplish. Look at it in the book of Judges, chapter 13, from verse 1. Judges, chapter 13, from verse 1. And the children of Israel did evil again in the sight of the Lord. And the Lord delivered them into the hand of the Philistines 40 years. 40 years the Philistines oppressed the children of Israel. 40. The oppression that is going on in Nigerian government and the government of other nations might not have reached 40 years over Christianity. The cry of the children of Israel went to God. Deliver us from the oppression of our enemy. And the enemy was strong against them. Strong. But why? They committed sin against the Lord. That is why the Lord allowed their enemy to oppress them. They committed sin. You couldn't clean up your environment. You allowed grass to grow up to your doorsteps. That is why snakes entered into your house and could go even to your room because you allowed grass to grow around your house because you allowed sin in your life to cover up everywhere that is why enemy forces are having right into your house into your place to oppress you to torment you God allowed them because you are lazy and stubborn. It is because you went into sin. Christianity forgot God in our nation. The people called Christians are wicked people. They are evil. They don't fear God. They don't obey God. They are ritualists. They are killing young babies. They are committing immorality of all kinds. They go as far as to homosexuality, to lesbianism. They do many things, practice witchcraft, even to the living church of God. Because of this, God says, what are you different from other people who don't know me? Which way are you different from sinners or people of other religions that don't know me? I give you up because you are wasting my name. You're blaspheming my name. I give you up for them. Let them torture you. In that way, you will come to your senses. So, they tortured the children of Israel. 
verse 2. And there was a man of Zorah, of Zorah, of the family of the Danites, whose name was Manoah. His wife was barren and bare not. And the angel of the Lord appeared unto the woman and said unto her, Behold now, thou art barren and bearest not, but thou shalt conceive and bear a son. Can you see? This came because cry was going from among the children of Israel to God. Deliver us, O Lord, from the hand of our enemy. The oppression of, the, of these Philistines over us is so grievous. They deny us everything. They deny us real position in the government. They deny us even political positions. They deny us even schools and jobs and everything. They are against us. They deny us opportunity to make money, to have contracts. They deny us all that. And we're suffering. There's no salary. They don't pay. We are in trouble. God save us. That is why in answer to their prayers, God caused a child to be born. And that child is Samson. That child is Samson. Yes. We continue. In verse 18, and the angel of the Lord said unto him, Why ask it thou dost after my name, seeing it is secret? Let's go to verse 24. And the woman bare a son and called his name Samson. And the child grew, and the Lord blessed him. And the spirit of the Lord began to move him at times in the camp of Dan between Zorah and Ishtau Samson was eventually born at a time Israel needed salvation most at a time Israel needed salvation most at a time Israel needed salvation most what am I saying? At a time, this country needs salvation most. God caused you to live, to be alive as a young man at this time. It's a God of plan. It's because there are works designed after your name. There are many Samsons, many women Samson near. Let me add that one to it. Amen? That God brought them up at this time for exploit. God brought them up at this time that their fathers are crying. Their mothers are crying. The devils have taken over the streets. The voice of the Philistines is sounding in the air. And everybody runs home. I mean, runs home or even runs away from home to the forest. At this time, Samson and Samson near, God rest them up. Because they are going to do something. I am speaking and I think my words are hitting your heart. I think my words are boxing your heart. It shows you are the, uh, you are the man. I'm saying you are the one yeah. meant for a period like this to bring solution to the nation, to bring solution to the church, to bring solution to the people of God, to arise and humble the enemy and the voice of the enemy. You are the one. So it is by the Holy Spirit. And so, the Holy Spirit came upon Samson. Not by might, not by 
human power, but by my spirit, saith the Lord. The spirit is working in your heart. Something is moving you. It's because this is the time you will rise up and walk. This is the time you will stand before God. This is the time you will pray down revival. This is the time you will cause the troops of the enemy to run. You see it now in chapter, in chapter 14. Yes, yeah, Samson has been born. You will see the Spirit of God walking in Samson. So, I talk about the unique bait of Samson. The unique, unique bait of Samson. The salvation and deliverance of Israel from their enemies were attached to Samson. Hmm. Something about your village is attached to you. Something about your tribe is attached to you. Something about the state, the local government where you come from is attached to you. And something about this nation is attached to you. Something about the whole country is attached to you. I'm telling you that your relevance. Yes. Special birth of Samson. Indeed, the word of God got fulfilled. That Samson was born and the spirit of God began to move in Samson. Move in Samson. Go here. Come there. Go there. Come back. Go here. Come back. The Holy Spirit. Do you remember this song? All around me, the Spirit is moving. The Holy Ghost is moving in your life. I am very comforted as I am speaking because the solution of this country has come. The people are here to handle that matter. I said the people are here to handle that matter. Yeah. Wonderful. Revival will take over the church. Yeah. The churches have been united. Yeah. The people are here to work out the unity of the church. Yeah. Hey, as the Lord says, the lion and the cow shall be united together and they shall be eating grass. To show lion shall not kill another animal anymore. You'll find, you'll find a young child putting his son into the mouth of viper and playing. And the viper will be moving around because they are in a, a peace now. This is the time. All denominations shall come together. They shall be serving this God, this one God, Lord Jesus, playing together worshiping rejoicing the time has come because the people to do it are here i said the people to do it are here the lord rest you for a time like this in fact you are the ones who hasten the coming of jesus that's why we believe jesus is coming in our time you will you will hasten things. The number of people that will come to Christ will be at alarming rate. Yesterday, somebody said, when he saw crowd came out, he said, wonderful. Is it the number of crowd that came out? Even this morning, hey, this is giving you a picture of what is happening after here. Because when these people go back to their places, crowd upon crowd, Crowd upon crowd yeah. shall be coming to Jesus. Yeah. Shall be coming to Jesus. Yeah. We are waiting for you. So you can see, Samson was born for such a time. Even not only Samson, Jeremiah. In the book of Jeremiah chapter 1. I read from verse 4. Jeremiah chapter 1. From verse 4 
all through to verse 12 the Bible says then the word of the Lord came unto me saying behold I mean, before I formed thee in the belly I knew thee I had a vision of whom I was forming in my heart and before thou camest for thou camest for out of the womb I sanctified thee and ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. I had a vision in my heart. This person I'm going to release to this woman, this is what she will, he will accomplish. This is what she will accomplish. Then said I, ah, Lord God, behold, I cannot speak for I am a child. But the Lord said unto me, say not, I am a child. For thou shalt go to all that I shall send thee. And whatsoever I command thee, thou shalt speak. I am the one to do it. I just put your name there. But actually, I am the one to be directing you. Where I say go, you will go. What I say do, you will do. It's me who actually that is doing the work. My father who liveth in me, he doeth the work. Yes, God will lead you to do his work. So don't be afraid, saying, I am a child. Yes, be not afraid of their faces, for I am with thee to deliver thee, saith the Lord. It's wonderful. Take this very well. Be not afraid of their faces. Tell your neighbor. Tell you, tell them, tell them, brothers and sisters, tell yourself. Say it again loudly, say it again. Now, if you have light and you have a big place, you want the light to give to shine in all directions, you point it up to the top of the zinc and the zinc will distribute it. Have you noticed that? Now, put your mouth up and say, Be not afraid of their faces. That is the voice every Christian in Nigeria must hear. That is the voice every Christian in your community will hear. Yeah. Now, yesterday, when the news went about, ah, kidnappers are here. Oh, they have written letters. God told us this morning, they are not in the bush. They are among you people here. They, are, they rented a house and are there. And people, authority know where they are. Or may not be all authority. They know where they, they, tra they transact like this. But the Lord has warned them concerning his people. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Then the Lord said, why are you afraid? Is it now they are here? They have been here for long. Why are you people afraid? They have been there for long. They can't come here. You hear? We are serving the living God. The creator of their lives. And we will say they should leave this place. And they must leave it. I said they will do what? It's just to say, God, let them leave this place. Don't you want them to leave this place? They will leave this place. God knows where they are. They are not in the bush. They will leave this place. By our pronouncement, they shall not be here. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Be not afraid of them. The creator of your life is greater than them. They are the handiwork of God. Can there be any staff in this camp that you should be afraid? If I tell you, don't be afraid of him. I have all the power. I can say from today, pack up and be going. He has nothing to say. He will just be going because the final authority has said leave. Amen? Yeah. I don't leave on suspension or dismissal. God can dismiss them from this earth and that's the end. So we are having the living God. Why are we afraid? Who told you to be afraid of man? Who told you because they have gone you should be afraid of them? Who told you because they have grenades, they have bomb, oh, they can be suicide or bomber? Is it everybody will bomb? Is it everybody they will bomb? The way is God. Then there's no God. 
If these people can enter anywhere they want, then God is, does not exist. I'm telling you the truth. If God exists, he said, I control their fears. I have controlled their fears of the world. Have confidence in your God. Tell the Christians that nobody should be afraid. When, when uh, who came? David came and said, please don't fear him. Don't fear Goliath. That's what he told his people. So remove that fear from you. You are embarrassing God. You are, are you a true servant of God? And you are fearing a man? Don't fear him anymore. Not even the government. Don't fear. Even the government has no power to raise up hand against you, except God allows it. Even the persecutions Christians are facing is God that say that say persecute them. They are weak and they are weak and sinful. That's why they're doing it. Not that they have power on their own. If they take it too much, God will handle them. If they take it too much, God will handle them. Yeah. And you will see authorities, great authority. You will see, you will see, and you will hear. Because there is a God in heaven. I'm speaking for him. What a wonderful thing. I'm speaking for the living God. <laughs> Glory to our God. I'm speaking for him. I'm saying he's great and mighty. I'm saying God is the living God. Every knee should bow before him. I am saying let every man be silent. Let the, the, the wicked be stricken with blindness. I am saying let the angels arrest them. Let the angels arrest them. Let the angels arrest them. Let the Lord throw them down and put a stone upon their lives that they will be suffocating there. Who thou that thou should be afraid of the Son of Man and forget the Lord your Maker? You forget God. You are sinning. You forget God. You are sinning. Who is greater than God? Who told you that Jesus Christ is nothing? The Creator is nothing? The Maker of mankind is nothing? The one that came from heaven is nothing? The one the whole head is shaking before him is nothing? Is it because he humbled himself and became man? Eh? At the mission of the name of Jesus, there will be earthquake where the enemies are. Hmm. Yes. That it was. That's what the Lord was telling Elijah and Jeremiah. Don't, don't be afraid. Don't say you are a child. Wherever I send you to go, go there. Yes. Yeah. Go and I will be with you. Be not afraid of their faces, for I am with thee to deliver thee. See the Lord. Then the Lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth. Hey, the Lord is going to transform people here. Yeah. The Lord is going to turn you to real preachers. Yeah. He told Moses, who make it a man's mouth? Who made the mouth of man? I said, who made your mouth? He will put his word in your mouth. Yeah. yeah. And he touched my mouth. And the Lord said unto me, Behold, I have put my weights in thy mouth. When you come out of this place and enter your, play, your house and be speaking serious words of the Lord, your parents will be hearing you and say, ah, why are you not afraid like our fear? You say, I went to where they destroyed every fear that is in me and gave me a, an instrument to come and destroy fear in this house. Yes! You will walk in your community and tell them the Lord said they should not be afraid. He is God. Jesus is the Lord. Who has power to wipe out the people of Jesus? Who told them? Whose weapon can do that? He said, I made the blacksmith that blows on the fire brr, brr, to bring forth weapons, but no weapon formed in the world shall harm you. That is what the Lord is saying. Some trust in chariots and some in horses. But we will remember the name of the Lord our God. So, that is it. He told Jeremiah. 
Then the Lord now he said, See, verse 10, I have this day set thee over the nations. Not only the nation of Israel, the nations of the world. And over the kingdoms, over kings, rulers by all titles to root out root you know when you root out something it will not grow again because you didn't cut you rooted it you you didn't use cutlass you enter inside and root it out from the from the root okay okay you use bulldozer and enter inside and push it all the root block pop 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 and you will empty it it will not grow again that's what the Lord is saying. You are going to walk on these voices that have been ringing in this country to bring fear. There shall be no fear again. Yeah. To root out. That's the word. And to pull down. Strongholds, pull them down. I'm telling you what you can do. The Lord is talking to one man here. Was he talking to the whole nation of Israel? He was talking to one man here that you man you can root out a person you can root out a people you can root out nations you can root out kingdoms you can pull down demons you can pull down kidnappers you can pull down the full of the headmen everywhere Hallelujah. You can do it. You can do it. Listen, these people are there because it is end time. And the Lord wants them to use them to punish some people. But if they are crossing their bar like Nebuchadnezzar. And the Lord will bring an end to everything. Amen? And he say, you can do it. Yes, yeah, to root out and to throw down. Then you can now build a new thing. To build and to plant a new thing. Yes. Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me saying, Jeremiah, what seest thou? And I said, I see a root of an almond tree. Then said the Lord unto me, Thou hast well seen, for I will hasten my work to perform it. This thing I'm saying is happening immediately. Yeah. The Lord said he will cause this thing to happen rapidly. Yeah. It will be happening rapidly. Yeah. Right from here as you are going, things will be falling apart. Yeah. Because of the power that you are going to exercise here. The prayer power that you are going to exercise. I see some young men praying in the field. I like it. I like what those young men and young ladies are doing. Beautiful. Beautiful. Pull them down. Break them down, bind them up, destroy them, rip them up. Yes, that's the will of God for you. That's the will. Face your house, face your family, face your village, face your community, face your tribe, face the nation Nigeria, face the kidnappers, face the oldest ones, destroy them, rip them up. Hey! Break them, break them, break them, break them by the power of the Lord Jesus, the power of the name of Jesus. Root them out of this country. Root them where they are. All those leaders that see them secretly for blood, for human sacrifice, release fire. Burn them down alive. Break them up by the power of God. Power of God. Power of God. Power of God. It shall happen. The Lord will back you up. Make pronouncement. Make pronouncement. The Lord will back it up. Make pronouncement. Jesus will back it up. Big pronouncement. Big pronouncement. Jesus will back it up. He will cause his angels to walk them out. He will cause his angels to walk them out. You are not speaking for God. These people think God does not exist. The revelation continued. One of their agents went to them. And say there is a place you cannot come. They say there's no place. Because they feel that because they have backing of authority, backing of some high men in the government, they feel that since they have been doing it, nobody bothers. They don't know that there's a place 
God is there, they cannot come there. They don't know. They say, no, there's no place. You will tell them that there's a place. Yeah. Tell them there's a place. Yeah. There's a place. Yeah. Except you want to die immediately. You want all the power of the devil and charms with you. Bound up. Listen, you will destroy their roof before you leave this place. Hallelujah. Thank you. So, that's what the Lord told Jeremiah. What about Paul? I'm talking about you were born for such a time like this. So don't play laziness. Paul said in Galatians chapter 1, verse 4 to verse 12. Galatians chapter 1, verse 4. To verse 12, the Bible tells us, saying, Yes, who, who gave himself for our sins that, we might, that he might deliver us from this present evil world according to the will of God and our Father? Now we come to 14, we come to 15 and 16. Galatians 1, 15 and 16. But when it pleased God, who separated me from my mother's womb, and called me by his grace to reveal his son in me, that I might preach him among the hidden, immediately I confirmed not with flesh and blood. It pleased God who met me, If you go to God and ask him about myself, he will tell you that when I was me creating him, I had this purpose in mind. What he is doing now, it is what I have in mind. So don't be praying. They say, hey, our pastor will die. Don't say so. Because God didn't create me to come and die at a time like this, but to come and deliver people. So I am delivering people. Hallelujah. You were also for a time. You have your time. You have your time. And when your time has come, don't play with it. Boy, I like your prayer. That you, you take your closet here to pull down things. I like it. Girl, hey, I like your prayer. I say I like your prayer. That you find your place. Demons know the people who are serious in this place. Because a kind of wild wind is being manufactured by them. And the, the wild wind is entering the world. It's manufactured and it's entering the world. They have sent wild wind into this place. They are sending wild wind. And fire will just descend upon some community. Bah! They say, where is this coming from? It's coming from Kualikam. They are announcing that some people are in camp in Kualikam, that they are evil people. The people they should announce is the good people, who are also at this time in Kualikam to root out all evil. Never live here until the people that they say they are in camp in Kualikam, they have been rooted out. Because good must overcome evil. Evil must bow before the good. And the wicked at the gate of the righteous. This is the world. You can't be here. And they say evil people are in camp against a colleague. It can never work. I say it can never work. Hey, it can never work. You are released. As you just go about, be doing business. You're moving here, you're moving there. Even when you're moving to your seminar class, yes, God, have they gone? God, root them out. Jesus, root them out. You're carrying your chair to go to your root them out. God, root them out. Hey! Prayer! Day and night! 
you will hear the testimony. Yes. Satan has never overcome God and will not forever. Thank you, Lord. Where should we live in fear? Never. We can't live in fear in this place. Our God will back us up and evil shall be judged. Yes. Paul said, I was made in the womb to honor Jesus. He created me from the womb to honor Jesus. Yes. That is what Paul said. Who again? Esther. Esther. Esther seemed not to have known, but Mordecai reminded her in the book of Esther, chapter 4. Esther chapter 4 from verse 1. When Mordecai perceived that perceived all that was done, Mordecai rent his clothes and put on sackcloth with ashes and went out into the midst of the city and cried with a loud and a bitter cry and came even before the king's gate for none might enter into the king's gate clothed with sackcloth. And in every province, whithersoever the king's commandment and his decree came, there was great mourning among the Jews, and fasting, and weeping, and wailing, and many lay in sackcloth and ashes. They wrote later that we are telling the church that for the space of how many months? Three months. That they should never worship God. Please. Decree that all those people involved in that letter shall die. All of them. Every man in the government of Nigeria that is inside that decree shall die. The room shall eat them up. The room shall eat them up. They are stubborn to the living God. They are stubborn to the living God. Any such religion the back of those people, the religion shall be punished by the God of heaven. It's a God of patience, but it's too much for them. They have gone too much. They have gone too much. They have gone too much. Fire shall be released on this country. Fire shall be released on this country. The Lord shall bring judge, judgment and impediment. All their great men shall suffer judgment. All their great men shall suffer judgment. Because they have a big God. They have to be the living God. Oh Lord, rise up on your angels together and tear them apart. In the name of Jesus. 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 Other countries shall learn from them. So, it came to Esther. When Mordecai sent to Esther, Esther sent some people to go and tell Mordecai in verse 7 and verse 6. So, Heta went forth to Mordecai onto the street of the city, which was before the king's gate. And Mordecai told him of all that had happened unto him and of the sum of the money that Haman had promised to pay to the king's treasuries for the Jews to destroy them. Also he gave him the copy of the writing of the decree that was given as Shushan to destroy them, to show it unto Esther and to declare it unto her and to charge her that she should go, go in unto the king to make supplication unto him and to make requests before him for her people. Can you see? Nothing is new. If Nigerian Christians think that their own is too much, it happened to the Jews. Better this one that I say, it's not that all Nigerians everywhere in the world, all Christian Nigerians, Nigerian Christians everywhere should die. No. They say, all that are here, you die or surrender. Look at, it happened like that in Jewish time. All the Jews in the kingdom of Ahasuerus, who was ruling the world at that time, should die upon a, one, upon a set day. The cry, everywhere such a decree went, back 
order by the king. Better this one that it were, we're not told that the president decreed it. It is that a, a people called Islamic terrorists. That name is known in hell. They shall go to hell and see it and be there in hell and drink fire. Who common man? Even Satan fears God. Where should common man speak as if he created himself? Hey, you have spoken. You have touched. You have touched the living God. And we shall see between you and God who will succeed, who will win over his fellow. Come on, ma. Come on, ma. The devil's inside you. Fear God and fear the church. Fear the man of God. He said, Jesus, I know. And Paul, I know. Is it every person you can be speaking those words to? So, it was written down. Written as your own was written. And dispatched officially. In the king's signet, not this one that is hiding in the bush or hiding anywhere. So everybody was crying. So Mordecai sent to Esther, Help us in this matter. Verse 10 And Esther spake unto Heta and gave him commandment unto Mordecai. All the king's servants and the people of the king's provinces do know that whosoever, whether man or woman, shall come unto the king into the inner court who is not called there is one law of his to put him to death except such to whom the king shall hold out the golden scepter that he may live but i have not been called to come in unto the king these 30 days this what and they told to mordecai esther's words <laughs> If you know you are, not you are not ready to die for righteousness, can you stand up? You know. You will not, are you not ready to die for righteousness? Can you stand up? Esther wanted to go sinful, afraid, because I will die. Is it not? You will die and your people will be saved. Why are you afraid? Our great men in the government are afraid because they want to die. So when these people promulgate wicked, wicked laws, they cannot stand it. Say, ah, they will send assassin to me. Ah, they will kill me. Should they not kill you so that the name of Jesus be exalted in this country? Should they not kill you? Nelson Mandela went to prison for how many years? until they gave South African blacks their independence. You are not ready to suffer. You are a big man for nothing in the government that think they are going contrary to your church, contrary to the people of God. You, you belong to the same people. If God is coming, he will deal with you because you, you shut up your mouth. You shut up your mouth. You are not ready to show God the glory. Don't say you are a Christian anymore. Don't. Don't mention that you're a Christian. You're like them. In disguise. Otherwise, why don't you speak for Jesus? Why don't you speak for Jesus? Who told you that they have power to kill you? Who told you? Can they kill a person without God? Did, are they, all those people they're killing, they're the people that God has given them up. Go and find out the sins of those people. Or maybe their time to go to heaven had come. But as for you, your time, you, you are in the hand of God. I say you are in the hand of God. Yeah. Go forth for God without fear. Just bow your head, brethren, and say, remove fear, O oh God, from our leader, Christian leaders. Remove fear, O oh Lord, from our Christian leaders. For God has brought them to the throne for this purpose. Amen. If you see them, tell them that that fear in you that make them capture you and give you money and, and close your mouth, you will perish with them because you do not honor the Lord. Why are you a governor if it's not for Jesus? Why are you a senator if it is not for Jesus? Why are you in the House of Representatives if it is not for Jesus? 
Where are you chairman of the local government? If it is not for Jesus, where are you a director in that place? Director what? Permanent secretary of what? If it is not for Jesus, the Lord brought you up, present, pr protected your life, raised you up for a time like this, when they are bringing reproach, and you are busy in fear, and say they will kill you. Let them kill you and let others survive. God will reward you for your death. That is it. Fear is dead in this country. Wherever you hear my voice, see that it is a voice from heaven. And let that voice wake you up. I say, let that voice quicken your life. <laughs> Fear knocked at the door. Faith came and said, yes. He opened the door and nobody was there. Weights they are sending to you is weights of fear. Say, shed away. You won't see them again. You won't see them again. Because they will know that these people know their God. Hey. Story, story, story. story. I heard of Boko Haram that got, in, got some Christians, some Christian young ones in Borno State in those days. And said, deny Jesus. I think they were, either they were 12 or so, 11 of them said, I'm, we, are, we become Muslims. We are now Muslims. We are now Muslims. They came to one. He said, myself, I am for Jesus until I die. <laughs> Hallelujah. He could not, he looked at them, who are these people telling me to deny? Do they even know the, the thing they are saying? I am for Jesus. Everybody say it. Say it again. Say it again. Then, when their leader was called, said, these ones have accepted Islam. But this boy said, never, that is for Jesus. Their leader understood. He said, these 11 people who said they now become Islam because they are afraid. Even when you bring them to Islam, they won't stay there. They are already cowards. They, they are to and fro. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. But this one that says he is for Jesus is the pride of his master. And the master will go all out to defend him. If we don't want to die, leave this boy alone. Let him go. <laughs> but to these 11 people who said, eh, I deny, they are unstable people. Clear them. Declare them. Who told you to fear man? Does man have power over your life? Pilate said to Jesus, don't you know I have power to kill you and power to spare you? Jesus said you have no power except it is given to you from above. Now from today, say to yourself, the devil or any religion has no power over your life. Say it! Say it! Except God permits. And if God permits, my end has come to this life. I am dying as a martyr. There's a greater reward in, my, in heaven. There is a day called the day of martyrdom. A day in which Jesus goes to celebrate <laughs> with those people who died for his name. He wants you to be among them. Otherwise, live freely in this world. Live free. Be free. Nothing shall by any means hurt you. I was preaching in Syria alone. Then I saw something hit my body. Beep, and f fell. I looked. I couldn't see. What could that be? Is it an insect that hit me? Well, I did my preaching. When I finished, 
I said, ah, something hit my boat. This air, eh, it is wish gone. Eh? So that's how wish gone does. <laughs> I'm telling you, which gun on my body, it will never work. <laughs> I say which gun in my body, it will never work. <laughs> we don't know what to do. And that person who shot that, said, go and check out whether he's still alive. I'm telling you, it's battle against God. Stand for God, as let's see. You're busy collecting charm for nothing. It is that charm that is killing you. That charm registers your name in the kingdom of darkness and makes you one of them. If they're looking for people to kill, it's you they'll pick because your name is in their register. Because of that charm you have, the just shall live by faith. I say the just shall live by faith. Yeah. Faith in God. Now, I'm talking about Samson. I'm talking about Samson. So Mordecai, uh, in verse 13, then Mordecai commanded to answer Esther, think not with thy soul that thou shalt escape in the king's house more than all the Jews. For if thou altogether holdest thy peace at this time, then shall their enlargement and deliverance arise to the Jews from another place. But Thou and thy father's house shall be destroyed. And who knoweth whether thou art come to the kingdom for such a time as this? Tell those people in the government who say they are Christians that if they don't do anything, if these people arrive, the Lord will direct them to them, they will start with them. And you who are related with them is dangerous. Begin to intercede for your father's house. Because you have a coward in the government in the name of Christian. They are deceivers. They are not Christians. They are afraid. They are afraid to honor Jesus. And the Lord is angry with them. And those who deliver them to the government. To rule. Rule over what? That they will not honor the creator. They, they will not defend the name of the creator. Why do they take over that position? They should leave it for true Christians if they are not. That is the world. Tell Esther, if you sit down there and be busy fearing your single life, well, they told you the whole tribe will be destroyed. And a date has been set. You are saying, eh, nobody goes to the king if the king does not. Who is king and you? King and yourself. Are you equal to God? Are you equal to God? Who is the king? I said, she won't tell the king to stop that thing. You say, hey, God, uh, the king and her. Then Esther understood. Verse, Esther understood. Verse 15 to 17. Then Esther bade them return Mordecai this, matter, this answer. Go, gather together all the Jews that are present in Shisham and fast ye for me. And neither eat nor drink three days night or day i also and my maidens shall fast likewise and so will i go in unto the king which is not according to the law and if i perish say it again say it again did she perish did she perish rather she brought dignity or no and greatness to the Jews who took over the kingdom. One woman. Where is she seated? Check her brother is around you where she is. I'm asking men, I'm not asking women. I'm asking men to check up whether they have seen Esther. Esther, are you here? Yeah. Oh, Esther, you are here? Yeah. The Lord shall promote Christianity because of you. Amen. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Now, back to Samson. Back to Samson. You see? God raised up Samson. And he began to do exploits. If you see the exploits Samson began to do, look at it in Judges. Chapter 14. 
from verse 1. And Samson went down to Timnath and saw a woman in Timnath of the daughters of the Philistines. And he came up and told his father and his mother and said, I have seen a woman in Timnath of the daughters of the Philistines. Now, therefore, get her for me to wife. Verse 4. But his father and his mother knew not that it was of the Lord that he sought an occasion against the Philistines. For at that time, the Philistines had dominion over Israel. Verse, uh, verse 5. Then went Samson down and his father and his mother to Timnath and came to the, vi the vineyards of Timnath. And behold, a young lion roared against him. And the Spirit of the Lord came mightily upon him. And he rent him as he would have rent a kid. And he had nothing in his hand. But he told not his father or his mother what he had done. Listen, the training of the Lord. Training. The Lord wanted to train Samson. And it is by the Holy Spirit, not you. A young liar. Yes. He entered bush. Is it to ease himself? And saw a lion there. They were looking at themselves. Samson and the lion. The lion looked at him. If he's a man. Hey, brother. I remember when I went to the zoo in University of Ibadan. They took me to where lion is. Hey. <laughs> when the lion said. Whoa! I said, it's finished. <laughs> the thing was on the chain. I forgot that it was even on the chain. There it was. That the build drowned it. I said, my own has said, <laughs> Well, my ministry is not to lions. So. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> If it were the Holy Ghost would have taken over. So now, when they were looking at the same, at themselves, Holy Ghost. See, the Spirit of the Lord descended upon Samson. He began to look at the lion as a kid. He just rushed to it. Got hold of it. The powers was more than the, the lion, so he could not share. He put his hand into the mouth and tore it. I'm telling you, and truly they are not going. By the Holy Ghost. Not by my. It's not by power. But my spirit says that. Then what will happen? This mountain must be removed. You should believe it. All this trait must die. All this trait must die. All these kidnappers must be arrested, burnt up. All the leaders that go to them shall be arrested, destroyed. By the Holy Ghost. Sit down. You're under training. Samson was taken to be trained with that. If lion, Samson could handle young lion, not an old one. Samson could handle it like this and throw it. Is there any human being in the world again? Yes. Again. Look at it. In verse 19. And the spirit of the Lord came upon him. And he went down to Ashkelon and slew 30 men of them. And took their spoil and gave exchange um, and gave change of garments unto them, which expounded the riddle. And his anger was kindled, and he went up to his father's house. It was by the spirit. Everything that happened, happened because the spirit came upon Samson. 
the spirit came upon Samson. Yes. Everything that happened, happened. Why? The spirit came upon Samson. So, it is the spirit that will walk in your life. That is what the Lord is saying. Not by might, nor by power, nor by, by my spirit, says the Lord. Now, the Philistines came to the elders of Israel and said, if you don't handle Samson, it's destroying our people. We will deal with you people. So they came to Samson. In verse 10, and Samson asked them, and the men of Judah said, where are ye come up against us? And they answered, to bind Samson, I will come up to do him as to do to him as he had done to us. That's why the Philistines came to the elders of Israel. Now, then three thousand men of Judah went to the top of the rock, Etam, and said to Samson, Knowest thou not that the Philistines are rulers over us? What is this that thou hast done unto us? And he said unto them, As they did unto me, so have I done unto them. It's one man facing a whole nation of people. He said, they did to me, so I did to them. And they said, we are come to bind thee, that we may deliver thee into the hand of the Philistines. And Samson said unto them, swear unto me, that ye will not fall upon me yourselves, because towards you I am to protect you. The Lord is using me to protect you. I, I, the power in me is against the enemies. So tell me that you will not kill me yourself. Then, and they spake unto him, saying, Nay, but we will bind thee fast and deliver thee unto their hand, but surely we will not kill thee. And they bound him with two new cords and brought him up from the rock. And when he came unto Lehi, the Philistines shouted against him. And, you know, when they bound Samson, it is Israelites now that bound Samson. And they were bringing him, he was coming as a person arrested and defeated. They were carrying him to, to them, and the people were happy. The Philistines were very happy. They were shouting, Yes, we have got Samson. We have got Samson. And so when they came to Lehi, Lehi the Philistines shouted against him. That shout, <laughs> they paid for it. <laughs> I'm telling you. That shout, I told you, they will pay for the later they wrote. Yes. The spirit of the Lord came mightily upon him, and the cords that were upon his arms became as flax that was burnt with fire, and he, his bands were loosed from off his hand. Everything the bind Samson with just the it all he became a free man among them among them three thousand people samson became free but by the holy ghost one angel quickly ran to samson and put a jawbone of an ass with him and the holy ghost said that is the weapon samson just got a jawbone of an ass hey one man among three thousand And he found a new job of an ass and put forth his hand and took it and slew a thousand men therewith. And Samson said, With the jaw bone of an ass, hips upon hips, with the jaw bone of an ass, have I slain a thousand men by the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost will use you. Holy Ghost will use you. That is it. So, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid whatever crowd of people you went to. Don't. Yesterday I told you of a man, it was a drunkard that was singing his song, Lord of G, there is power in the blood, and he scattered the people. How much more of you going with all understanding, releasing the blood, releasing the blood, who will stand? Who will stand? That is what I'm telling you. You will do a spirit for Jesus. Not only in hand silencing this, 
this voice of the enemy i mean iniquity in the church you will silence it you are going to dismiss backsliding pastors you are going to dismiss all those women going up and clapping hands but in witchcraft you are going to handle them you just it's not that you'll be going and say hey, hey, hey. No, that's physical battle just take your corner like this and say god clear them in that church god clear them off jesus clear them off they will be cleared that is what god will do to you that is what god will do in your life I am pouring down the power upon your life. Amen. Amen. So, great works. But then I want to speak to you on Samson. Samson, exploit Dua, wounded and dropped out. We see from the ball, we can see from Judges chapter 13. Verse 24 and 25, an exploit doer. The Holy Ghost was with him. Look at the Judges chapter 13, verse 24 and 25. And the woman bare a son and called his name Samson. And the child grew, and the Lord blessed him. And the Spirit of the Lord began to move him at times in the camp of Dan between Zorah and Eshtal. The Spirit of the Lord. But what happened? Chapter 14, verse 5. But then went Samson down and his father and his mother where he slew a lion. Can you see? Where he slew a lion. He exploit actually. Exploit was done by Samson. And you see all the works of the spirit the work the Holy Ghost used Samson to do. But Samson became wounded by the life of sin. He went prostituting and left righteousness and holiness of God. In chapter 16, verse 1 to verse 6. Then went Samson to Gaza and so there and hallowed and went in unto her. And it was told the Gazites saying samson is come hither can you see harlotry prostituting came into samson immorality entered into samson glorious man born to save his people glorious man holy ghost began to use him but now wickedness had entered into samson yes yeah. Chapter 16, verse 1, let's read it again. Then went Samson to Gaza, and so there and hallowed, and went in unto her. In verse 4 of chapter 16. And it came to pass afterward that he loved a woman in the valley of Sorek, whose name was Delilah. The matter has finished. Goodly boy has entered into the world of immorality. Goodly boy, loved by God, covered by the Holy Spirit, born for a time to deliver his people, iniquity, sin, took over Samson. Sin, took over Samson. Iniquity, took over Samson. Wickedness, took over Samson. He became dropped out. Dropped out. God will not lay his hand upon you forever. Far be it. If you turn away from God, he will turn away from you. That is it. If you turn away from God, he also will turn away from you. In chapter 16, Verse 16 to 21. And it came to pass when she praised him daily with her words and asked him so that his soul was vexed unto death. 
that he told her all his heart and said unto her they have not come a razor upon my head for I have been in Nazareth unto God from my mother's womb if I be shaven then my strength will go from me and I shall become weak and be like any other man and when Delilah saw that he had told her all his heart she sent and called for the lords of the Philistines saying come up this once for he had shot me all his heart then the lords of the Philistines came up unto her and brought money in their hand and she made him sleep upon her knees and she called for a man and she caused him to shave off the seven locks of his head and she began to afflict him and his strength went from him and she said the Philistines be upon the Samson and he walked out of his sleep and said I will go out as other times before and shake myself and he wished not that the Lord was departed from him but the Philistines took him and put out his eyes and brought him down together and bound him with fetters of brass and he did grind in the prison house he was grinding corn that's what sin has done the sweetness of immorality I don't know the beauty of Delilah but this is where it ended that's where it ended sweet girlfriend has ended Samson with his two eyes and were no more forever. And he was grinding now. Hey, Jesus. Grinding corn in the prison house. Anytime they want people to come and do something, they want him to come and play sports so they should lie. They will bring him out of prison. Sassel, hey, warrior became a gesture for people to laugh strength has come woman has eaten your strength money has eaten your strength drugs have taken away your strength smoking has taken away your strength disco dancing has taken away your strength search of power has taken away your strength samson samson glorious youth Glorious you, gone blind. Newspaper carried it everywhere. Because he made an impression. He affected the, the community. Yeah. Samson became an ordinary person. And was dropped out. Not even in among, among Israel anymore. To a strange nation. In prison there. And be meant to be grinding for them. Yeah, wounded and dropped out. That was how it went with Samson. Exploit doer became an ordinary prisoner due to sin. Due to sin. Something removed you. Something took you away. You began well. You were known in your society. There was hope. Even your parents saw that you were a goodly child. Your parents saw that you and your sisters, you would look different. The fear of God was in your heart. The Lord was resting you up for something. Your parents saw it. They remarked. They even told their neighbors. The people saw it. They saw the handwork of God in your life. Somebody has deceived you into immorality and disvergent you. Now, 20 men have entered into you. You are like tap water on the streets. Anybody who wants to drink water can go on it and drink and go their way. Wretchedness. Oh, wretched man that you are. You have frustrated the vision of God. You have denied your parents the salvation they would have enjoyed from you. You have denied your community the grace the Lord answered them by making you to be born to that place. You have denied the church 
the revival the Lord attach the church to you immorality drug addiction you fly in the sky like a wild wind on the street you don't even know yourself anymore you are emanciating now your senses are not the same some of them have even become mad on the street gone 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 virtues have gone samson where have you dashed the hope of your people why solomon great man something like that happened to solomon in nehemiah but thank god for solomon he came back nehemiah i want to read nehemiah chapter 13 verse 26 did not solomon king of israel sin by these things yea among many nations was there no king like him who was beloved of his god and god made him king over all israel nevertheless even him did outlandish women cause to sin witches and wizards saw that this boy was growing well and they went to import ladies from somewhere to just come and join the church for him he didn't know they invited him somewhere to go and see a beautiful girl there who became interested in him he didn't know he didn't pray he just felt oh yes i, they, I don't know where people love me for a reason they love you because they want you to go to hell they loved you because they saw they saw that the way you were coming the hand of the lord is upon you and they want to destroy it they wanted to destroy it and you never paid attention to your life you didn't know you're a precious boy you girl you didn't know you're a precious girl you just wasted yourself and think that men loved you that they loved you for no reason devil send them satan send them chains are in their hands that thing to block out eyes are in their hand they are giving you a smile a person a woman has been hired with a promise of much money and they have given her advance already giving her advance i told you a testimony of a man that they wanted they saw that this man was carrying drugs in the white man's country in america but they couldn't trace it because the way he was hiding the thing was too much they couldn't trace it he he, he fixed artificial teeth and will remove his teeth and fix them there and put cover his teeth so they won't they didn't know how it happened so but he knew that this man was doing something then a woman opted who she was among the cid opted to marry the man here am i marrying you do to me as you want enjoy let's enjoy time he was rejoicing he married an american for his life all to check out how do you hide this cocaine these drugs how and what there's a room in his house in his uh, apartment that nobody goes there oh the wife suspected they had two children together the wife suspected that this room might be it so she went and planted a camera on that room so whenever the husband entered there he goes to check up in the camera what is he doing poor nigerian uneducated of camera see maybe it's long time before camera came to nigeria so he discovered the man will remove his teeth and fix them there ah, we have got it she went and reported it the man said ah darling sweetheart it's me you went and reported yes i got married to you for it that's my job we were married for all this how many years until we have two children is for to discover you and you careless in your life and say the girl is sweet. i'll marry her have you asked god did you ask god a friend just come carelessly to initiate you to occultism you just follow that friend without in inquiring from god the friend said take one thousand take twenty thousand take a hundred thousand you're not afraid they're taking you somewhere 
and you girl they say let's go for party have you been to this hotel before let's go and see how it looks like you go sheepishly for your soul samson samson became wounded but because of the life of sin sorry samson your life has gone samson exploits have been destroyed by drugs occultism pornography sexual immorality lesbianism homosexuality stealing abortion witchcraft you are gone god created you for a purpose but thank god god has hope on you that's why you came here god said the person doesn't even have transformed but pay for her pay for him i want to recover him that's why you're here everybody say thank you jesus that is what happened that is what's happened so samson exploit doer restored for last day exploit we are serving the god of second chance samson lost the first chance due to sin but the years of his head that signified a life of dedication to go for exploits that were cut off began to grow again began to grow again judges chapter 16 judges chapter 16 yes i read verse 22 Judges 16 verse 22 the Bible says how be he the hair of his head began to grow again after he was shaven the goat of second chance the hairs of his head grow again but now the hears signifying power is reviving we are seeing the handwork of your of god in your life something is touching your life now we are seeing the handwork of jesus in your life something is springing up in your life now we are seeing something some interest about god is entering into your heart now we are seeing you becoming interested to attend conferences to attend church you have connected to the internet the lord led you to where his word is god the holy ghost is walking after you somebody came and whispered to you about some things and about god and about what you are dreaming some dreams now god is giving you a second chance god is giving you a second chance god is giving you a second chance that is what the lord gave to samson second chance everybody say second chance god give me second chance exactly exactly and god will do that for your life i said god will do that for your life then the lords of the philistines gathered them together for to offer a great sacrifice unto dagon their god and to rejoice for they said our god had delivered samson our enemy into our hand and when the people saw him they praised their god for they said our god had delivered into our hands our enemy and the destroyer of our country which slew many of us witches are celebrating we have weakened the prayer life his prayer life we have weakened the pra her prayer life witches in the family can go out freely now witches in the community can go and hold their meeting freely now witches and wizards are celebrating he has backslidden he has committed sex with somebody hey we are free we are free let them be told that something has begun to happen in your life in the name of Jesus, let them be told the power of heaven has had what they are saying. Heaven has had their mockery, and the God of mercy has 
traced his way back to your life. Are you there? I said the God of mercy has traced his way back to your life. That thing they put in you must be removed. That thing they cover your eyes must be removed. That thing that is weakening your prayer life must be removed. That power of lusting that is causing you to lust has been broken in your life. I'm saying that taste and that desire for homosexuality, that woman that they sent to you to teach you lesbianism, a power is separating you. A power is separating you because the Lord is calling you to come back. Son of man, prophesy to these Bibles. I will speak my word unto you and you shall leave. You shall leave. Dry bone backsliders. The Lord told me that you will leave. Yes. Rejoice not over me, oh my enemy. Though I fall, I shall arise. The voice of the servant of God in the pits. The voice of the servant of God lying down. Thrown down by the enemy. He has hope. He has hope. She, she has hope. This immorality, I cannot repeat it. it. It's time I will stop it. This wickedness, I will stop it. Yes, I will stop it. I see myself eating things in the dream. I see myself fly. I won't fly anymore. I will stop it. I will dissociate myself. Anybody who wants to praise me, I will confess his name. I will confess his name. I mean it. I will not continue with this evil. I will not. Damn. That is what happened to Samson. That is what happened to Samson. And it came to pass when their hearts were merry that they said, Call for Samson that he may make us sport. And they called for Samson out of the prison house. And he met them sport. And they set him between the pillars. And Samson said unto the Lord that held him by the hand, Suffer me that I may fill the pillars whereon the house standeth, that I may lean upon them. Now the house was full of men and women, all, and, and all the lots of the Philistines were there, and there were upon the roof about 3,000 men and women that beheld. While Samson met sport, special ones were sitting down, others were on the, on the other stairs, and Samson called unto the Lord. This time, the heart of Samson was praying grievously, Lord, and he said, Oh Lord God, remember me, I pray thee, and strengthen me, I pray thee, only this once, oh God, that I may, I may at once avenge of the Philistines from my two eyes, I can't see and Samson took hold of the two middle pillars upon which the house stood and on which it was borne up of the one with his right hand and of the other with his left and Samson said let me die with the Philistines for I came to die that my people should be set free I came to die the principle of redemption is let one man die and let the other live Jesus manifested it. Samson began it and he bowed himself with all his might. Mm. 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 And the house fell upon the lords and upon all the people that were therein. They collapsed. So the dead which would he slew at his death were more than they which he slew in his life. Thank you. The Lord has brought you here and has recovered you. Everybody say, I'm recovered. The Lord has brought you here and returned the mantle to you. The Lord has brought you here by the Holy Ghost. He has filled you with the Spirit. Yeah. Now, last exploit. He said, go and join the last workers. You will do final exploit before the rapture. Yeah. 
you are lucky to join us we are here waiting for you we are here we are already exploit doers and the Lord recovered you from your sin and said go and join my people and do a final work for me are you ready yes, I say are you ready yes, are you going to join this team for final revival yes, are you going to join this team for final redemption yes, are you going to meet your people in Nigeria in your country sing hallelujah song rise up upon your feet you're here thank god you didn't die if you had died you'll be in hell now but now you came and the lord said i have recovered you commit yourself to god and make a promise 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 lord no more going back no more going back i am i have come i have come I have come. I have come. I'm going to move with exploit doers. I'm going to move with exploit doers to do the final work before the rapture. To do the final work, even if I have to die before the rapture, I want to do the final work. Yes, raise up your boy and plead with the Lord. Raise up your boy, Jesus, Jesus. Call upon Him. Call upon Him and let him give you another opportunity another opportunity let him fill you with power 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 in the name of jesus 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 receive the power do a spread for him recover you are restored you are restored no more in immorality you are restored. No more drug in, in drug trafficking. No more smoking drugs, marijuana, smoking all these things. No recover. No, 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 no lesbianism. No homosexuality. No, 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 no. The Lord has raised you up. You are going to do exploit for Him. Special work. Special work. Root out. Root out. Root out. I have formed you for this purpose. I created you for my glory. I want you to bring glory to my life. Last time glory. Last time glory. Last time glory. That is the call of God over your life. That is it. That is it. Recover your righteousness. The Spirit of God will come again to you and use you to do exploits for God's kingdom. Samson's greatest exploit for God and for the people of God was done after his restoration. The Lord restored Peter to the Christian life and gave him the privilege of doing exploits for him. Receive restoration, yes, from the Lord Jesus Christ today and be endued with the power of exploit for God's kingdom. Power to do wonder, power of signs and wonder for God's kingdom. So let it be now. As it began with you, so let it be now. As it began with you, so let it be now. Anointing, 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 anointing. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, recover the people of God. Dry them, rise again. Dry them, rise again. Dry. Rise again, hear God the word of the Lord. I will blow upon you. I will blow upon you. I will bring flesh upon you. 
I will bring your bones back together. You shall rise. I shall rise. You shall rise. You shall rise. And become an, a great army. You shall rise. And become a great army. You will join last day's army. Jesus. Jesus. Go, 
forgiveness to them in Jesus name in Jesus name in Jesus name restoration where you backslid you are coming back wherever the devil took you to you are coming back raise up your hands before Jesus the hair of Samson grew again everybody say it your Christian life is coming back your Christian life is coming back of the prodigal son. The God of Samson. The God that showed Peter mercy and brought him back to apostleship and handed over to him his office of being the chief apostle. Answer prayer today. Answer prayer today. Every man, every woman, every child that backslid that the devil took him away the devil took her away by the power of heaven power of heaven let them come back let them come back let them come back let them come back in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus yes 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 Satan Satan give up powers of witchcraft I break the power over your life over your life be broken that power be broken. Demonic power be broken. 
you come out, you come out. Receive Jesus. Receive Jesus. Receive Jesus. Okay, open your mouth and receive him. Open your mouth and receive him. Receive Jesus. Receive him. Receive him. Receive him. Receive him. Receive him. Receive Jesus. Receive him. Receive him. Receive Jesus. Receive him. Receive him again. Receive him again. Receive him again. Jesus. 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 Take over, Lord. Holy Ghost, take over. Holy Ghost, take over. Holy Ghost, take over. Holy Ghost, take over. They are your children again. They are your children again. Exploit. 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 Let them go and do wonders for Jesus. Wonders. 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 Signs and wonders. I am a children which God has given to me. We are for signs. We are for wonders. Let them go forth and unite the church. Let them go forth and silence the enemy of the church. Let them go forth and bring souls in their mass to the kingdom of God. Jesus. Let them go forth and purify the church. Let them go forth and bring judgment against the enemies of the church. Against the enemies of the church. The fire of the Lord is coming upon you now. The fire of the Lord is coming upon you now. The fire of the Lord is coming. Fire. Power. Fire. Power. Fire. Loose. Loose you. Loose you. Loose you. Loose you. Loose you. Be free. Be free. Let the Spirit of God enter into your life. Let the Spirit of the Lord enter into your life. Thank you, Jesus. The message you have just listened to is a production of Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide. Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide is a non-denominational ministry that is given to the propagation of Christ's righteousness and holiness in churches and nations of the world through crusades, revival meetings, production and spread of holiness literature and materials. For other spiritual materials, messages or inquiries, contact us on 0816-902-3948 or 0805 you can also reach us through our email address, holinessrevivalmovement at gmail.com. God bless you. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Hallelujah. Jesus, I believe in you. You are my Lord and Savior. I believe
believe in you. You are the living Savior. Jesus, I will.